Alright, so the first thing that you want to do for your marker and water landscape is fold it in half. This is going to be your um, where the water meets the land. So uh, you're going to do all of your drawing in marker above that fold. So I'm going to draw the grass first and then my pond starts right under that fold. Then pull your trees up and add a few little branches but not too many. So I like to add the roots going in to the grass um, so it's curved just a little bit there at the grass line and then add a few um, branches going up just like that. And then we're going to do fall trees um, because remember Monet, he liked to show the different seasons um, and different times of day and um, right now it is autumn for us and so let's celebrate that by adding um, the different colors of trees. So I've got orange, red, and yellow. And I'm just doing these scribble lines to create the uh, leaves in my trees, but I do want to kind of fill it in. And here I actually um, put orange and red together to sort of mix it together, because uh, you can do that a little bit with markers. Then you want very carefully, and you want to do this carefully, color in the blue sky all around your tree. So go around the edge of your trees and around the trunks of your trees and around the grass very carefully before coloring it in. And you really, really do need to color it in neatly and completely for this to work because we are going to have that sky reflected in our pond. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit more. Um, I'm already going in fast forward, but a little bit more to get through the sky drawing. All right, when you're done drawing in the sky, you're going to get a clean cup of water and a clean brush. And you want to, and you can, you don't even need a brush. You could just use your fingers. Um, I'm just gonna use a brush though. And paint the whole bottom half of your paper with water. If you want to dip your fingers, you may. If you want to use a brush, you may. Make sure your fingers are dry for this next step because you're going to fold down onto the wet part and you're going to smooth it out. You're going to really fold that and really, really, really press down hard because you're printing. Essentially what you're doing is you're printing that um, landscape onto the water to make a reflection. There is your beautiful autumn trees reflected in a pond. And where you didn't put the water on accident just looks like um, the sun reflecting off. All right, this looks really great and I know yours is gonna look fantastic too. 